Have you ever pondered the potential of making money online with digital products? Let's kick things off by defining what we mean by digital products. These are items that exist in a digital format like ebooks, online courses, or digital art. They're not physical items, but they hold tremendous value. Now, why should you care about digital products? Well, they offer a unique combination of benefits. For starters, they have low overhead costs. There's no inventory to manage, no shipping to handle, and you can sell them 24 7 anywhere in the world. But the real power of digital products lies in their potential for passive income. Create a digital product once and it can generate revenue for years to come. It's like planting a seed that grows into a money tree. So, whether you're an artist, an educator, or simply someone with valuable knowledge to share, digital products can be a gold mine waiting to be explored. Now let's delve deeper. So, how do you identify or create a digital product that meets market needs? Imagine you're standing in a digital marketplace. You have the skills, the passion, and the drive to create something of value. But what exactly should that be? The answer lies in a blend of your unique abilities and what the market is hungry for. Maybe you're a whiz at graphic design and notice a demand for custom digital art. Or perhaps you're a seasoned entrepreneur with a wealth of knowledge to share through an online course. Consider successful digital products out there. Ebooks on niche subjects, software that solves a specific problem, online courses teaching a unique skill. These are all examples of digital products born from a blend of passion and market demand. Ponder on your strengths, your passions, and the needs of the market. This is your starting point. Remember, the best digital product comes from a blend of your passion and market demand. Now that you have your product idea, it's time to create it. Let's dive right in, shall we? The first step in crafting your digital product is to choose the right tools. For example, if you're writing an ebook, a simple word processor like Google Docs or Microsoft Word will do the trick. If you're creating a course, Platforms like Teachable or Udemy have built-in tools to help you structure and deliver your content, and for digital art, software like Adobe Illustrator or Canva could be your best friend. Once you've chosen your tool, it's time to start creating. Don't worry if you're not a seasoned pro. The beauty of digital products is that they can always be updated and improved. So start with a basic version of your product, then refine it as you receive feedback from your audience. Next, let's talk about design. A well-designed product isn't just visually appealing, it also enhances user experience. So, whether you're designing an ebook cover or a course layout, keep your audience in mind. What would appeal to them? What would make the product easy and enjoyable to use? If design isn't your forte, don't worry. There are plenty of online resources like Canva and Fiverr, where you can find templates or hire professionals to help you out. Finally, don't forget about quality control. Before you launch your product, make sure it's the best it can be. Proofread your ebook, test your course, double-check your artwork. If possible, get a second pair of eyes to check your work. You want to ensure that your customers are getting value for their money. Now, I know this may seem like a lot, but remember, creating a digital product isn't a race. Take your time, enjoy the process, and don't be afraid to make mistakes. Every mistake is a learning opportunity. With the right tools and a pinch of creativity, you can create a digital product that shines. Ready to sell? Let's set up your online store. The first order of business is choosing the right platform to sell your digital products. There are numerous options available, each with its own unique features and benefits. You could opt for a dedicated digital product marketplace or perhaps a broader e-commerce platform with a strong reputation. The choice is entirely up to you and should align with your specific needs and goals. A user-friendly website is a non-negotiable. It should be easy to navigate visually appealing and, of course, mobile-friendly. After all, a significant portion of online shopping happens on mobile devices these days. Equally important is secure payment processing. Customers need to feel confident that their transactions are safe and their information is protected. So make sure to integrate trusted payment gateways into your online store. The right platform can make selling your digital product a breeze, so take your time, do your research and choose wisely. Pricing your product can be tricky, but we've got you covered. In the world of digital products, creating the perfect pricing strategy is both an art and a science. It's not just about covering your costs, but also about understanding the perceived value of your product. There are different pricing models to consider. A one-time fee is straightforward and simple. It's like selling a tangible product. The customer pays once and the product is theirs. Subscriptions, on the other hand, provide a steady stream of income. 
It's like having a magazine subscription, but for your digital product. Then there's the pay what you want model, a bold approach that puts the power in the hands of the customer. But no matter which pricing model you choose, remember this. Your price should reflect the value you're providing. If your product is solving a problem or making life easier, don't be afraid to price it accordingly. After all, people are willing to pay for solutions and convenience. Remember, your price should reflect the value you're providing. You've created a product and priced it right. Now it's time to market. Marketing is the lifeline of your digital product business. It's how you attract potential customers, and it's how you keep them. So let's dive into some effective marketing strategies for your digital products. First, content marketing. This is a powerful tool that can drive traffic to your online store. You can create blog posts, videos, podcasts, infographics, anything that provides value to your audience. This not only positions you as an expert in your field, but also builds trust with your audience, making them more likely to purchase your product. Next, let's talk about email marketing. Building an email list is like having a gold mine. It's a direct line of communication to your audience. You can use it to share updates, offer exclusive deals, and most importantly, nurture your relationship with your customers. Remember, people buy from people they like and trust. Social media promotion is another effective strategy. It's not just about posting, it's about engaging. Respond to comments, participate in discussions, and create a community around your brand. This not only increases your visibility, but also fosters a sense of belonging among your audience. Now, let's not forget about SEO or search engine optimization. This is how you make sure your online store shows up in search engine results. Use relevant keywords in your content, optimize your website's speed, and make your site mobile-friendly. This will help boost your online presence and increase your chances of being found by potential customers. Lastly, consider collaborations and partnerships. This can help you reach a larger audience and increase your credibility. You can collaborate with influencers, bloggers, or other businesses that share your target audience. In conclusion, marketing your digital product requires a mix of strategies. It's about creating valuable content, building relationships with your audience, optimizing your online presence, and leveraging collaborations. Remember, the goal is not just to sell, but to create a loyal customer base who will champion your brand. Effective marketing can catapult your digital product to success. Digital products can be vulnerable, but there are ways to protect them. In the digital world, it's not uncommon for piracy and unauthorized distribution to occur. This can be a real blow, especially when you've poured your time, energy, and creativity into creating something valuable. But don't worry, you're not helpless in this. There are methods to safeguard your digital products. One such method is digital rights management, or DRM. DRM technology controls access to copyrighted materials and restricts ways consumers can copy content they've purchased. It's a robust line of defense against piracy. Another protective measure is watermarking. Watermarking your digital products, like ebooks or digital art, can deter unauthorized sharing. While it might not prevent all unauthorized distribution, it can certainly make it less attractive. Remember, your digital products are your intellectual property. They're the result of your hard work and creativity. Protecting your digital products ensures your hard work pays off. Customer service can make or break your business. In the digital product realm, where direct human interaction is minimal, the importance of stellar customer service skyrockets. It's the lifeline that connects you to your customers, fostering trust, and building lasting relationships. Here's the thing to remember. The customer experience doesn't end once the product is purchased. It's an ongoing process. So, how do you ace customer service? First, be accessible. Make it easy for customers to reach out to you with their queries or concerns. This could be through email, social media, or a dedicated support section on your website. Next, be responsive. Quick replies show your customers that you value their time and their business. And lastly, be proactive. Regularly check in with your customers, ask for feedback, and offer help before they have to ask for it. Remember, great customer service can turn one-time buyers into loyal customers. It's not just about resolving issues, it's about creating an experience that keeps them coming back for more.